After a year of political and economic instability, 2021 isn't shaping up much better for Thailand. As virus cases climbed again recently, the pandemic recovery is looking uncertain. Looming over everything is months of unprecedented rallies where protesters have openly criticized the monarchy, Thailand's most powerful institution. On Tuesday, a Thai woman was handed a 43 and a half year jail sentence for insulting senior royals. Joining us now is Dan Ten Kate. Dan, what are the economic and political challenges that Thailand is facing right now? Well, on the economy side, uh, tourism has really been decimated by the pandemic. Uh, factories have been shutting workers, exporters have been slammed, uh, farmers have been facing the worst drought in about four decades. Um, so the GDP growth is set to, to really uh, plummet uh, last year, and now the economists expect a slight recovery this year. Um, and through it all, we've seen these unprecedented protests against the monarchy. Um, thousands of people have been gathering to demand more accountability and transparency on finances uh, in particular, um, as well as the right to openly criticize the royal family. Mm, so how has the king been boosting his presence in Thailand then? Uh, first of all, he's stayed in the country. Um, for much of his reign, the king has been overseas in Germany, uh, where his presence has started to become more of a political issue there as the protests gained steam. Uh, so now the king has been back in Thailand uh, since October, which is the longest stint he's had at home since the unrest began. Um, and we've seen him really stepping up his public appearances, doing things that a monarch traditionally done, such as attending religious ceremonies, handing out diplomas, even sweeping the floor um, at one of his charity projects. Um, and part of the aim here is to enhance um, what is known as barami or, or virtue, um, which really underpins the moral authority of Thai monarchs. Um, his father, the late King Bumivan, had built this up uh, over time, um, allowing him to kind of settle disputes between different factions, most notably in 1992, uh, when street protests had led a deadly crackdown by the military. And now the problem for Thailand is that the monarchy itself is the subject of street protests. And has this had any impact on protesters? Um, well, the protesters, you know, first of all, it's, it's kind of way beyond whether um, they will uh, respect the king at the moment. They're really um, pushing for fighting for more systemic changes that go to the heart of Thailand's political system. And a lot of those demands are way beyond kind of what is politically possible at the moment in Thailand um, with the parliament uh, composition as, as it is at, uh, currently. Um, so what they're trying to do is really try and change the conversation completely around the monarchy, including by being able to just speak freely and openly about um, what changes they want to see. And so the sentence we saw this week, uh, 43 years in prison, for a woman who was allegedly sharing something on social media, something she didn't even create, um, you know, that kind of goes against everything that the protesters are fighting for at the moment. Um, and it's stuff like this that Thailand will really have to deal with because it could build even more resentment over time that could create instability for years to come there. All right, Bloomberg's Dan Tan Kate in Hong Kong.